Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the American Style Cow Shed version 1.0. This thing is huge, it's able to hold 250 cows. File size for this is 29 megabytes. So what I'm going to do is explain a few things regarding this mod. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs, then I'll set a few things up and show you how this works. So let's get started. Okay, so once again, this is the American Style Cow Shed version 1.0. The file size for this is 29 megabytes. Price in the shop to purchase is 220,000 with a $100 a day upkeep. Capacity of this is 250 cows you can fit in this. You can fill this up with five different resources to feed your cows. TMR, which is total mix ration, hay, silage, grass, and water. We'll go over the shop and take a look at this. Located under placeables, of course, under animal pens, all the way to the end. There it is there, 220,000. There's all the things you need to fill it up, and it holds 250 cattle, so very nice. You're going to need a big, flat piece of land to put this on, guys, because it is quite big. So, the first thing to take notice to is the doors that can open here with the press of the left mouse button. I already have a bunch of cows in here, guys. I actually have one more load over there. There's a few things I'm going to uh, fill this up with. The last load of cows there, that will put this up to exactly 250. Now, there definitely don't look like there's 250 cows here. You're going to notice some weird animations with the cows, too. Sometimes they kind of climb on top of each other and they get stuck in the racking and stuff. But it is version 1.0 and they'll probably work out those little things. But overall, very nice mod. Triggers all seem to work nice and well. Take a little walk through there. I laughed the first time because when I went through, that cow was thrown the other way and his head was stuck through the door. It was hilarious. Okay. Let's open up this side. So you can see the different inputs around here. There's where you're going to put your water. Pick up your slurry there. Pick up your manure. There's some of your cows outside. They actually walk right through the door, but that's fine. There is where you're going to pick up your milk. And there is where you're going to drop off your cows. So we'll start the process of filling this up now. Okay, we'll start off by dropping off the last of the herd here. That'll bring it right up to 250 maximum. Get a whole bunch of different kinds of cows in there. Mix them all up. There's one thing about the animal statistics screen that I'm not too crazy about and I wish they'd list the total number of cows you have instead of each type because when you have a lot of them there's a little math to do. Okay so let's drop them off and you have to click on each one of these. I wish they'd set this up so you can use your scroll wheel but Okay, we are at full capacity here. Yeah, it doesn't give you your total. And if you go to your animal screen here, it doesn't, yeah, it just says like how many of each type of cow you have. Confirm. Okay, let's get this guy out of the way. And we'll move on to our total mix ration. Might as well get that in there. Two hundred and fifty cows, do you think it's gonna take it all? I don't know. Probably. Let's find out. Every last grain it took. Okay, let's see how... Oh, look at this. You got a long way to go there, son. Okay. That should keep them filled for all of 10 minutes. Really like this placeable, though. It's perfect for this map. By the way, I'm testing this out on the uh, Michigan map. This is a pretty flat map, so it's great for that. It was a perfect spot right here on the farm to drop that down. So that kind of worked out good. Okay, let's move on to the water. That was around the back of the building. Yeah, right next to the slurry pickup. Let's bring up my HUD here so you can see the water going in. 
There we go. The Peterbilt got a crazy sound to it. It's a nice truck though. I think I'll be reviewing that really soon. It's a Peterbilt 389. Very nice. Alright folks, I went and got 150,000 liters of straw and I totally forgot about it so I had to harvest. Do some harvesting but we get a pile of straw on board here. Should be able to fit in this door, I'm hoping. That way we can... I knew there was no hip detection on the, the wind rower itself. Okay, I think it I don't put the straw here. Oh, there we go. Just a little bit further up. So I'd say it's going to take all of that, most likely. Then we can get production underway and test the triggers. While we're ramping up production here, I uh, decided to give you a look at this in the nighttime. See, it's all lit up there. It's kind of dark inside, though, isn't it? Too bad there wasn't some light switches in here. Needs a little bit of lighting. But any advice I could give on the next version is put some lighting in here. That would be fantastic. It's a little bit lit up here, but that's more coming in from outside, I do believe. And we got some lighting on this side as well. I just wanted to show you too, I'm nowhere near inside there and the, actually the back of my tipper's facing the other way. But look, I'm getting the trigger to unload this. But So you could probably drive by the front of these doors and just let that go. So just a little tip there. Okay, so after fast forwarding to the next morning, you can see everything's underway here. Everything's producing. Got some manure, some slurry and some milk. Jump in here first. We can see that there's some manure made. Let's stop time here. We need to keep that going. Let's make sure indeed that it is manure. Yes, it is. Look at that. We've got a big old mud bucket on this. Holds all kinds. So that works just fine. Next up, we'll try grabbing some slurry out of the slurry tank. So th only those big doors will open. No other ones will. Slurry. And as you can see, that's filling on up. Works just fine. And lastly, we'll test out our milk trigger. Right up by these silver tanks and the uh, pylons. Milk. Start filling that up. Milk production is well underway. I'm gonna fill this thing up no problem. So, there you have folks. That was the American Style Cow Shed version 1.0 holds 250 cows. File size for that was 29 megabytes. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and let's plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help me contribute to the channel. It really helps out. So, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.